not let Gibson get away with a standard guitar. We, this is not um, your average guitar, hence the Made to Measure program. As you know, I have many 335s at Les Pauls with humbuckers. I bought a bunch of 330s, and in my situation, guys on the internet will tell you that they don't feedback, and they're, they're lying, simply lying, um, because they do, uncontrollably. So we needed to start with a center block and a 335, or a 345 actually. So what we did was we took that and then we said, all right, dog ear P90s, that'll solve that problem because the center block is in there. And that was the first thing. And then we said, well, a 345 has real cool inlays. So let's just put those on there. And we're like, while we're up on the neck, and that's super cool, let's put a stinger on the back. Because that is what they used to do when there was a repair in the 50s on any kind of guitar. And we decided there are, isn't a repair, but it certainly does look cool because who doesn't love bees? Bigsby had to be there because we think they sound different with the Bigsby's on them. We think that they uh, it adds something, a little hold. Then the choice was what color are we going to do this thing? So we decided on the absolute most difficult color we could think of and that was candy apple blue because is it dark blue? Is it kind of green? Is there a little gold in there? It's all of these and more. And then you know like little things like we just chose different knobs and had to, they had to make a custom pick guard to fit the P90s, nylon saddles, and they do sound different. So we essentially built a guitar from the ground up that was everything we ever wanted on a, on a 335, 345 style guitar and they really did, they did it. They, there's, I have no complaints, they did this really well.